What is good, IG fam? We're in the parking lot of Giant Eagle because I had to use the bathroom super freaking bad. But hopping on here super quick because we're in another vibe and I want to spit some knowledge. Or, it's not knowledge, but you know, something that's been on my mind lately. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think it could help. So here goes nothing. So this one is about being present being in the now and giving people your full undivided attention so here we go so essentially be present be awake be aware always give your full undivided attention to whoever whomever you are with wherever you are in the now so it is unfair to yourself and to others not to be listen to others let them feel heard do not allow past traumas dictate your present state, your emotions, your feelings, your headspace. It is all in your head. You have the power to control your feelings instead of allowing your feelings to control you. You can let whatever happened yesterday impact you today if you truly desire to. Oftentimes people identify with past traumas to find a sense of identity, but sometimes they don't always paint the prettiest picture of who they want to be. You can let what happened 10 years ago impact you today if you desire to. Life always and will forever happen in the now. And it is unfair to let past traumas, insecurities, energies impact your time with other people, yourself, especially yourself. The present moment is always tainted by past events and future unknowns. Give people and yourself your full undivided attention now. That is everything and the only thing you owe to them and to yourself. So kind of going off script here a little bit, but I started writing down notes in my phone because it's easier to just speak directly and make this a little shorter. But going off script here, um, my inspiration for this one was um, really just talking with my girlfriend last night. And I was saying to her, um, you know, it's really unfair to whomever you are with, whether that's your friends, your family, your girlfriend, your spouse, your wife, your partner, to not be fully present and not let not give them your fully un, your full undivided attention each and every moment that you're with them because so and for me this is a big unlock because you know I used to let a lot of past events or insecurities or things that I just identified with to find you know a sense of identity with you know okay this is I'm Connor, this is who Connor is and who he should be or, you know, today, right now. Um, or I used to let a lot of things that happened yesterday spill into today or, or things that happened in work spill over to my time with my friends, my family, you know, people I've dated. Um, and I really thought about it. I'm like, you have such power to control whether or not you, you literally, it's all in your head. It's all in your mind. You choose to let things spill over to different moments in time right and for me personally I honestly was unconsciously aware or unaware of this and so I, I guess I really took a step back and realized this and thought you know it's it's truly unfair to whoever you're spending time with you know maybe you're just spending time with yourself you're alone at a, at a larger you know level but I think at a very fundamental level if you're going on a date with your girlfriend or if you are spending time with your friends or hanging out with your family, it's unfair to let whatever happened yesterday impact who you are and the time that you're spending with your loved ones or the special people in your life today, right now. It's it's unfair to them. It's unfair to, to allow certain things that have happened in your past take hold and you know, surround your energy with who you are right now. And I think human beings in general have a difficult time compartmentalizing time in events that happen throughout time. And I know personally, I, I, I have, um, especially growing up. And I think as I've grown and matured, I've gotten a lot better at that. And I've realized that, you know, I'm not going to let, if I have a bad day at work, if I get yelled at, um, or if, you know, I get, cussed out in the parking lot at Giant Eagle at the grocery store, you know, it's not going to, I'm not going to let that impact who I am and how I feel when I'm around people that I love because it's unfair to them. It's not fair because they didn't ask for that. They didn't ask for you to be in a bad mood based on something that happened in the past five minutes ago. 
a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, um, when you were growing up, it's not fair to them to, to literally be in that headspace right now with them. And that's why I feel as though it's so sincerely important to give people your full undivided attention in the present, in the now. I remember reading this book about a year ago that my dad recommended for me. It was actually when I was in quarantine before going on um, Love Island. And he sent me these books that I was reading um, during my time in there. And one of them was called, I Hear You. And it basically said that you know, feeling heard is one of the greatest desires of the human heart. So when you give people your full undivided attention, you let them be heard. Because oftentimes, that's all people really want. And sometimes, sometimes they don't have anyone to listen to them. Sometimes they don't feel heard. They don't feel like anyone's listening to them or, or desires to listen to them. So give people your full undivided attention, allow them to be heard, and just be present, be awake, be aware, and appreciate each and every moment that you have with your loved ones and special people in your life because you truly do not know when your last moment with those special people with your loved ones in your life will be. So just value each and every moment and be present, live in the now. So that's all I got. I love you guys so much. Keep killing it, keep working hard, keep staying happy and positive, and I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Peace.